Hi everyone, this is Andrew Power and in this short video I'm going to show you what to do if you go to log into your WordPress website which you've recently upgraded or perhaps it's auto upgraded as uh, some of the new hosting accounts allow and you get this error here. It says fatal error class you know, WordPress session tokens not found and if you go to get any information you're like what the hell's going on here? Um, now this isn't my website, this is somebody else's website but I thought it was a problem that I want to show you how to quickly and easily fix. Now with this particular site it's gone and done an automatic upgrade and through the upgrade process it's corrupted some of the files. Sometimes that can happen when it's uh, you know, the downloads are uh, interrupted or whatnot. So all you need to do is log on to the um, FTP account for the domain and I'll bring it up over here and what I've actually done is um, I've gone ahead and you, all you need to do, is, this is a quick and nasty video, is you log into your hosting account, you leave, I actually renamed the plugins directory but you can rename that, that's fine. So you leave your plugins, you leave your themes and your uploads. So you leave your WP content folder, you leave your wp-config.php file. Now this is the file that tells WordPress how to connect to the database which is your MySQL database. Do not, whatever you do, delete that file. Otherwise, uh, you're going to have a hell of a time connecting your WordPress site back to a, a living database. Um, and in your WP content folder, you'll find this is where it stores all the plugins and all the themes running on your particular website. Now, if you, oh, and the uploads folder is where it stores any images and uh, media files that you've uploaded through WordPress. If you delay any of those three, you're going to have a, a hard time as well. So leave that folder. Um, you leave the wp-config.php file and this file here is just some uh, Google Webmaster Tools authentication file that they have you upload to your server so you can leave that, that's, that's a harmless file. So once you've deleted everything but those files um, now, of course, this depends on your hosting account. If you have um, downloads or PDFs or eBooks or reports that you give out to people and you store them somewhere else, be mindful when you're deleting. But when it comes to WordPress files, these are the main ones here that can't so much be replaced. So all you need to do is download the latest WordPress um, build from the WordPress website, extract it to a folder, go into that folder, and you'll see you can simply cut and and if you go into the WP content folder here it has a plugins folder nobody loves that hello.php I don't know anybody who uses that so if you do use it please uh, fill in a comment below just so I know that somebody in the real world does actually use that plugin that always seems to be the first to be deleted um, in the themes you've got the fresh copies of the themes so just out of curiosity we'll go to this website and you can see it's got old themes anyway so you could probably even get away with just deleting those themes as well but uh, I'm just going to have it overwrite. So we've got our extracted WordPress. We go into our, our root folder here, which is just simply like that. And you'll notice when you've extracted the WordPress zip that there's a wp-config-sample. Make sure that there isn't a wp-config.php on this side because if you replace it this file again, you won't be able to connect to that database. So in this case, we don't even need this, this sample file. It comes with the WordPress zip and you just simply upload. Uh, so I'm going to pause this video and I'll come back once it's finished uploading. Alrighty, so through the magic of a pause button we're now uploaded. I've now transferred all those files across and as you can see they're all in the right place. The config file is still in existence and uh, all, the other all the other files have now been uploaded. So at this point um, we go back to our website, we simply hit refresh, tell it yeah go ahead, be a hero. And with a bit of luck, that error will disappear. And Bob Girani, you're into your website. So I hope this has uh, been a, a nice, quick, fast movie. Uh, just a little bit over four minutes. So uh, this is this uh, error that you get in the back end when you go to log in. Any of those sort of errors, they can usually be linked back to some sort of a corrupted download. The quickest way of getting around it is to simply delete the admin folder, WP admin folder, WP includes folder all of the files out of your root directory except for the wp-config.php and of course um, do not delete your WP content folder unless you really don't like your themes and plugins and all your files. I hope this has been helpful. Leave any comments down below. Uh, if you like this video certainly uh, click the, uh, the up arrow and uh, let me know whether this has helped you. Thanks a lot and have a great day.